News begins with breaking news. Well, the nursing home owner blamed for the deadly evacuations to a warehouse in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida was arrested today in Tangipahoa Parish. Now, we broke that story days after Ida, after several of the nursing home residents died in the poor conditions. Well, Bob Dean now faces several felony charges, and Erica Ferrando joins us live from the Tangipahoa Parish Sheriff's Office, where Dean was taken today. Erica, what is his status? Cherise, Bob Dean just bonded out of the Tangipahoa Parish Jail about three minutes ago. He turned himself in today after the Attorney General's office issued a warrant for his arrest. This is after he evacuated about 800 nursing home residents to a warehouse in Independence, and several of them died. A wealthy nursing homeowner was arrested Wednesday by Attorney General Jeff Landry's office. 68 year old Bob Dean faces eight counts of cruelty to persons with infirmities, five counts of Medicaid fraud, and two felony counts of obstruction of justice. Dean owned seven nursing home facilities across southeast Louisiana and during Hurricane Ida evacuated 850 residents to a warehouse in Independence. We broke the story two days following Ida as those residents were being transported from the warehouse. The conditions inside the warehouse were called deplorable, with mattresses on top of each other, water flooding in at times, and too few workers to treat the patients, some with many medical needs. More than a dozen residents died after the evacuation, although the coroner said only five of those deaths were storm-related. Dean's bond hearing was held virtually from the jail and was set at $350,000 with these conditions. He must wear an ankle monitor, give up his passport and guns, get a mental health evaluation, and he must stay in Georgia where he lives unless he has an out-of-state doctor's appointment or comes to Louisiana for court. Attorney General Jeff Landry said the arrest comes after an investigation revealed Dean refused to move residents out of the warehouse following Ida, that he billed Medicaid for dates the residents weren't receiving proper care, and he tried to intimidate and obstruct public health officials and law enforcement. Now, Dean had already lost his state license to run those facilities after this evacuation, and he now, of course, faces time in prison. Live from Tangipahoa Parish, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.